Hey everyone, welcome to Base Payments YouTube, the knowledge base for accepting payments. Today, we're going to be learning step by step how to add menu items into your Clover point of sale system. Let's jump right into it. Today, we're going to be going over several topics, including how to set up categories, um, how to attach modifiers to your items, make price adjustments and variations based off of those modifiers and making sure it's really easy to ring up. This how-to video is gonna be good for all Clover devices, including the Clover Flex, the Clover Mini, and the full Clover Station. At the same time, we're gonna be going over why it's important to make sure your menu items are clearly organized into categories. This way, at the end of the month, when you run reports, you're going to be able to tell which one of your categories are making you the most amount of money and within those categories, which menu items are your customers loving. This way, you can set up great promotions, deals, incentives for them to keep coming back for more. This video is sponsored by Merchant Tech. Click on the link below to get $200 off your first Clover Station order. Make sure you use the coupon code BASE when you're checking out. Now, let's jump right into it and start programming menu items into your Clover point of sale system. Okay, let's get started. So the first step is going to be print out your menu. Whether you can print it out or you already have a copy at your business, pull this out first. It's a lot easier going off a hard copy and getting everything programmed into your Clover. Step two is going to be to go ahead and create a label. And to do this, we're going to have to log into the Clover backend. Let's go jump into that real quick and I'll show you how to do that. Now that we've logged into the Clover point of sale backend, Go ahead and select inventory, then labels. Select add new label. And let's define that label. Let's use kitchen printer. Hit save. And now we're good to go. Let's return to the video. All right, so now that we've created a label on the back end of Clover, we're going to go ahead and start creating items. So let's jump right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is enter the inventory app. Go ahead and select inventory. After opening up the inventory app, go ahead and select categories. This is where you want to start from. As you can see, the category menu shows completely empty. On the very bottom right, you'll see a plus sign. Go ahead and select that. After selecting the plus sign, you're going to see an option to add your category name. So using our menu example, our first initial category is burgers. We're gonna go ahead and enter that now. Once you've entered that, go ahead and click on done. Now that we've hit done, it's gone ahead and saved. If you look on the top left, you'll see where it says burgers. Now on the left, select modifiers. You should be seeing a blank screen, which means you have absolutely no modifiers listed. On the very bottom right, you're gonna see a plus sign. Go ahead and select that. Now you're gonna to wanna to create a name for that specific modifier group. So in our case, let's go ahead and name this Burger Modifiers. Now hit Done. After creating the modifier group name, you're going to see a few options here. The first is going to be the group name, which we named Burger Modifiers. Now the next option is going to be Minimum and Maximum. What this means is, what is the minimum amount of choices the customer has and what is the maximum amount of choices they have to modify a particular item or a combo. You'll notice at the get-go that there are no options you can select for the minimum or maximum. And this is because we haven't added any modifiers yet. So let's do that. On the very bottom left, you'll see an option that says add modifier. Go ahead and select that. After selecting that, you're gonna to have to add a modifier name. Let's go ahead and do a simple one, add mustard. After entering the modifier name, you're gonna to wanna to assign a cost to that modifier. Now you wanna look, do you have a cost for adding mustard to a burger? If you don't, leave that cost blank and go ahead and enter save. Now, as you can see, there's one modifier listed underneath this. Let's go ahead and add a few more. Let's add extra cheese. So 
So in this case, you may have a cost for cheese. So let's add a 50 cent surcharge for cheese. And remember, you don't have to enter the decimal places. After doing that, hit save. Let's add two more modifiers to allow this item to be more customizable when being ordered. So now we have a total of four modifiers. It should now allow us to select the minimum and maximum amount of modifiers we want them to be able to select. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Now this is important, especially when you're creating menu items that are combos. So for example, if a burger comes with fries and a drink, you wanna specify what type of a drink they want and what type of fries they want, but you're gonna have many options there and you don't want the customer to pick more than the set amount of options. So what you can do is set it to a maximum of two. That way they can pick their particular drink and their type of fries that they would want. So now that we've completed this, go ahead and hit save. Now that we've created the modifiers, we're gonna go ahead and create the item. So on the left, select items. After you select items, on the bottom left, select add item. Now on the top, it's going to ask you for the item name. So according to our menu, our first item is a hamburger. Let's type that in now. Now next, we're going to want to select the price structure of the item. Since this is a menu item, I would always recommend selecting fixed price. Let me show you. After selecting the price structure, we're going to move on to the price of the item. The price of a hamburger is $6.19 on our menu. Let's enter that now. And remember, no need to enter decimal places. After entering the price of the item, let's move on to the cost. We're gonna assume the cost of producing a hamburger is $2. After entering the cost, let's go ahead and minimize the keyboard and get it out the way. Now we wanna assign this item to a category. We've already created the category burgers. Let's assign it to that category. And hit save. Hamburger has now been assigned to burgers. Now for the labels. Let's select the specific label that we created on the back end of Clover. And if you remember, we set up a kitchen printer and here it is. Select kitchen printer and hit save. Now, every time this item is ordered, it's going to be sent to that specific label, which is going to be set to a specific kitchen printer. Now, let's assign the modifier group to this item. On the right, you'll see where it says modifiers. Select that. And here is the modifier group that we created, burger modifiers. Select that modifier group. Now hit save. Now that modifier group has been selected. Make sure you don't forget to set your taxes and fees. Currently on this Clover, it's set default at 8.5%. So I would always recommend checking with your state and local tax laws to figure out what your sales tax is. Now that we're done, we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now that the item has been created, the category for that item has also been set up and the modifiers for that item are good to go. We're gonna wanna make sure that the label printer is going to the correct place. Now let's set that up. And in order to do that, select the home button on the bottom middle. Select the printers app. Select order printer. And now select kitchen printer. That's the label we created on the Clover backend. Once you do that, hit save. Now that we've completed that, let's go ahead and check out the register app and see what our menu item looks like. Now let's go to the register. And there we go, hamburger. Let's select that item and see what comes up. You'll notice your price displayed on the left, 619, a quantity of one. And here you go, the modifiers we created. If the customer wants to add mustard, extra cheese, or no lettuce, the Clover will calculate all of the costs associated with those modifiers. So if we look to the left, there's a hamburger, add mustard, zero cost, extra cheese, 50 cents, no lettuce, zero cost. 
the total comes out to $7.26 with tax. Now that you're good to go, you just hit done. Click pay. And let's select the exact change. And pay cash. The initial receipt that prints out is going to be the kitchen receipt. Let me show you. Well, I hope you found that video useful and you're ready to start adding your own menu items into your Clover point of sale system. Remember, during the entire process, what's key is staying organized and making sure everything is set up in a way where your employees can ring up transactions quickly and effectively. Not only will it help um, ringing up transactions at the end of the month, it'll make it a lot more easier for you to look at your reporting and be able to tell what are your best movers at your restaurants. This way, when you're running deals and incentives and trying to increase that revenue, it's going to make it a lot easier for you. Your advertising is going to be a lot more targeted um, and your customers are going to like what you're offering instead of giving them deals on things that possibly that they don't want. And be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the link below and visit our sponsor. It really helps. It'll allow us to continue making content like this and keep you up to date on the best point of sale system information out there. I wish you the best of luck in getting your entire menu into the Clover Point of Sale system. See you on the next video.